Despachos are traditional ceremonies. They come from the Andes, although many cultures around the world have similar ceremonies. It's a way of entering into a relationship with our gratitude. Gratitude for transitions and changes, for abundance and harmony. An opportunity to say thank you to the Pachamama, to the world that holds us on whose belly we walk. There are traditional ways of, of making each dispatcher. There are traditional ingredients, traditional shapes. But the most important ingredient, the most important thing to include, however you are making dispatcher, is your own presence. These dispatcher ceremonies are completed by people from many different traditions all through the Andes. Has the intention blown into it? Creation of a dispatcho begins with a lower layer. You choose ingredients to represent everything in your life that might be at the foundation of whatever it is you want to represent, what you want to work with. Everything in life has a beginning. And so we might symbolize the aspects of this beginning, a new project, a transition in our life, with seeds, things that grow roots. Beginning by making a circle, perhaps with sugar, bringing sweetness into the dispatcho, even if the dispatcho is to represent change that may not have always been easy. You create a circle or a square, organizing the dispatcho as you create it, letting it speak to you so it becomes an organic and flowing process. In Peru, it's possible to buy ready-made packs of dispatcho ingredients. Inside the pack or the bundle are many little paper envelopes. Each one will look identical from the outside. But inside it will contain seeds and herbs, dried fruits, candies, sugars, chocolates. Small symbols to represent the archetypical energies that manifest in our lives and everyday things. There will usually be a shell to represent the mama culture, the mother of the ocean reflecting the understanding that it's from the ocean, the oceans all around the planet, that the first life emerged. As you tell the story to the dispatcho, opening different packets of ingredients, maybe just things you'd bought from the shop or have at home in your cupboards, you allow the story of the dispatcho to create itself. What's in the foundation, the first layer? What do you need to look at? Or maybe what, what's happening out of sight, down in the darkness? What's back in your subconscious somewhere? What's happening in your life that you can't see, that you want to make visible? When you feel the time is right, you begin to think about the next layer of the dispatcher. Maybe, these many colors Maybe what's the happening in the here and now, the middle world, the, people, the ordinary and everyday. Of the universe. Perhaps your dispatcher is about harmony, aini, balance. Perhaps it's about acknowledging and representing change in a working relationship. Perhaps it marks a marriage. Your dispatcher may involve just one person, yourself, creating it, or a whole group of people, a whole family. So, so we reap everything we do, cause and effect. Dispatchers can also be used when someone dies, creating an ayah, or death dispatcher, honoring with seven layers. 
the different aspects of each person's relationship with the world that they lived in, all of the different qualities that they brought, their journey through childhood and adolescence and adulthood, and on into their older adulthood. As you choose each ingredient from your basket, or wherever you have your dispatcher ingredients, you ask yourself, what does this represent for me? These raisins, is it fruitfulness? Or maybe they're a bit dried and wrinkly like older people are sometimes. Where's the juice that they bring into my life? Often we make kintus, where we bring three broad leafed, three broad leaves together, folding them, holding them one on top of the other, the right way up, to represent the past, the present, the future, the lower world, the middle world, the upper world of spirit, and then some flower petals, maybe red and white, like carnations to represent masculine and feminine, holding the three worlds, the three aspects of our life, even if we just see ourselves living in the day to day. They hold them in balance. Create a dispatcho. Whatever the intention of the dispatcho is, you begin to notice patterns, spaces, room for new things to grow. We blow into everything that we place in the dispatcho. Our intention of what this dispatcho will represent and what those ingredients represent within the dispatcho. No two dispatchos are ever the same. Each one is unique and different, just as each person's story is unique and different. You'll want to have two cups, two chalices, two beakers, into which you can pour maybe some red wine and some white wine, or a white spirit like pisco or vodka. The white represents the mountains, the apus, the masculine. The red represents the pachamama, the feminine. A little bit can be added to the dispatcher, maybe dipping a flower, a stem, into the wine and, and then dipping it onto the dispatcher. But the majority of it, you might stand up and blow your intention again into the, the red and white wine or drinks and throw them to the air or pour them on the earth. But let's call this the real gold that we want in our life, not just the metal. As you create a dispatcho, you pay attention to what it is in the dispatcho that catches your eye. There are no mistakes in creating these things. Flies that land on your dispatcho might be coming to eat up the hucha, the heavy energies that manifest in your life, just as they show up on the edge of the dispatcho. that walks across your path while you're making the dispatcho might represent the peaceful warrior, integrity, impeccability. Hummingbirds that come to visit while you're making might connect you with the aspect of the dispatcho that connects with the dream time. Hummingbirds. Life being a great journey. White spirit of vodka from Greece. When you've made all of the layers of your dispatcho, and you look into it and see that it tells the complete story that you want to reflect, that you want to say thank you for, then you fold it up carefully, folding in the sides of the paper that you made it on, making three folds. So you fold in the right side and then the left side, right for masculine, left for feminine, and then fold down from the top into the middle and the bottom up, bringing heaven down to earth and earth up to meet heaven. 
using some string or twine. You secure the dispatcher, wrapping the string around it, tying knots in the top, and keeping the dispatcher the same way up at all times, so that your prayers, your thanks, your wishes and intentions remain the right way up when you let them go. <laughs> you might then fold up your dispatcher bundle into a medicine cloth, or perhaps the one on which you made the dispatcher, and keep it for a few days. Maybe there's a few of you coming together to do some work, to grow your medicine, to have ceremony together. Then holding the dispatcher inside the cloth, you can cleanse each other's luminous energy field, informing the dispatcher of anything you hold around your body, or clearing your body of any attachment to the things you're letting go. Eventually, when it's time to let go of the dispatcher, you have fire ceremony. Some people will bury the dispatcher in the earth and let everything dissolve back into the Pachamama over a longer period of time. Sometimes I've taken them out into the sea and let them be washed away by the mother of the oceans. But fire is a path of rapid transformation and opening sacred space, lighting a fire, making your gifts to the fire, feeding yourself in your three centers from the fire, the mind, the heart, the belly, your place of power. And then at the end, placing the paper bundle dispatcher onto the fire, turning your back and stepping away, letting the dispatcher be taken by the fire to feed the fire, so that all of your wishes, all of your gratitude, can grow to be much bigger than you could ever imagine or express in words or with your breath as you've blown into it. When we let go of the outcome of our dispatcho, it grows bigger than we could ever imagine. Mostly in life, what lies before us is another version of the past. Even if we've lived amazing lives, our imagination is mostly limited to what we've already known and experienced. Even to say that Something that can come in the future will be a better version of something we've known. So that the gifts of the dispatcher come back to us, and to our children and our children's children, to our communities, to our colleagues who work, people we do business with, so that they can come back in a larger way than we can imagine we let them go. Turn our backs on the fire, and wait until the fire has completely taken the dispatcher and everything has returned to red embers, then closing sacred space, watching as the fire diminishes, and then walking away from it. Dispatchos are beautiful and coloured, multi-layer gifts. Gratitude, they say, is the attitude. They allow us to step out of our ordinary relationship with the world around us. To step into the animistic relationship with the world that we live in, where everything is alive. And if everything around us is alive, then we are alive. If you'd like to know more about creating dispatchos so that you can mark the transitions in your life so that you can teach your family your partners, your children how to honour the transitions and changes that they will inevitably travel through in their lives and please Play to the end of the video. I run workshops on a regular basis, teaching people how to use these beautiful, colourful ceremonies. Or perhaps you'd like to come with me to Peru and to sit in ceremony with the Kero, the Inca shaman of this lineage that we work with, learning directly from them in the ancient places of power, Machu Picchu, 
Ayanti Tambo, Lake Titicaca. My name is Joe Malloy, and I'll be delighted to guide you to creating your own dispatchos. Let's step into a bigger world together than we can ever imagine on our own. You'll find me at www.mesamedicine.co.uk or on Facebook, mm-hmm. facebook.com slash Mesa Medicine. I, don't really I look forward to connecting with you life. and our journey together. I want everything but I plant to grow corn. Palisanto. Corn representing abundance. Palisanto. Beautiful, fragrant, sacred wood. A gift to the gods. Feathers. May my prayers grow wings I'm up to the sky. <coughs> this feather comes from birds, water birds that live here. 